It's review time once again here on Walking the Candy Isle, and today I have the Prince Polo Bar. Oh, so if you are from Poland, Iceland, Hungary, or, uh, you know, Lithuania, you probably know this bar quite well. The Prince Polo. It's a Polish chocolate bar. Yes, that's right. The number one chocolate bar in Poland, in fact, and the number one chocolate bar in Iceland. Um, finally coming here for review. Um, uh, yeah, one, one, just one of those things. It's, uh, it, it's craft here, but you see also the um, um, Olza. It's from uh, uh, Czerszyn in southern Poland. And um, the Olza is the company that originally founded it. The Olza is a company that started in uh, a, a Polish confectioner confectioner that started in 1920. 1955, they introduced the Prince Polo. It's kind of a uh, wafer chocolate bar. You know, your standard sort of like, um, I don't know, Time Out or Coffee Crisp or even Kit Kat, right? With the, you got wafers with um, filling on the inside and then you enrobe it in chocolate. Um, originally, it was just a chocolate, you know, just, just I think it was dark chocolate actually with uh, chocolate filling on the inside. Um, but since Kraft purchased the company in uh, 1993, um, starting in 95, 96, they started expanding the line to, um, to a few other SKUs of the product, including hazelnut, um, milk chocolate, uh, white chocolate, uh, and coconut. And of course this premium, which I think is just a higher grade of chocolate. So now they have a premium coconut variety. So this is white chocolate confection with coconut, artificially flavored, anything else? Lots of, uh, lots of English on this packaging. I don't know, maybe that's just one of those things. Language of trade around the world, right? Contains wheat, milk, and soy. Palm oil. Anyway, um, made in Poland. How did this become the number one chocolate bar in Iceland, I wonder? I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I'm just excited to try it. Let's, uh, let's get it open. Ooh. Pretty big, right? I think they've got different size skews of this as well. Whoa. Now, you know I'm not a massive coconut fan, but... Um, wow, this smells super coconutty. But I do like foreign chocolate bars. I'd like to try something new. Wow, it smells really coconutty. Like, really, really strongly coconutty. That's great. Uh, if you're a coconut fan, this sure smells the part. Looks good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Hey, that is good. Nice, real light wafers. Um, it just kind of like mm, almost melts into your mouth. It's good. It tastes like real coconut. I wonder if it has real coconut in it. Mmm. It's totally good. Coconut, coconut butter, yep, coconut and coconut butter, pretty good, I'm impressed, good job Prince Polo, um, you know I'm not even a huge coconut fan, and uh, and this is definitely something, something I would go for, so, whew, wow, that's, uh, that's a harsh light, sorry guys, but uh, Prince Polo, one to check out, I think. Um, if you're a coconut fan, it's nice. It's got a it's got a real nice flavor, real nice texture, and um, it's uh, although it's a little tacky on the top because of the coconut, because of the uh, chocolate. Um, it's a good taste. It's not uh, overpowering. It feels like a nice light kind of a bar. So I'd recommend it. The Prince Polo. This is the coconut variety. Um, Walking the Candy Isle is going to give it, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, and that's a lot for me considering I'm not a huge coconut fan. So, you know, take that for what it is. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, I really appreciate, uh, appreciate it, and uh, yeah, click those links you see on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you next time with another fun review from somewhere in the world. Okay, <laughs> so long.